All right. So you remember what I told you? We're going to stay with someone called Chris. No, Alfie. Oh, no, dear. You're confused. Alfie's in prison. No, no, no Alfie's out. That's who we're going to stay with. In a prison? No, no. In a pub. Oh. In this pub. Oh, really? It's all right. I'll explain again when we get into Oh, it. fancy that. <laughs> I knew a Christine once, Christine Ardacre. She lived on the south coast. Did you know her, lovey? You are. <laughs> she had a birthmark on her neck, and it made her very self-conscious. She used to try and hide it with a scarf. Yeah, listen, why don't we get you two upstairs, eh? Yeah, come uh, on. I'm sure Spencer will explain everything a bit later on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't worry about me, darling. Come on. Surprised? I can't say that again. What's, what's she doing here, Spence? I was worried about her. So I went round to the flat. She'd locked herself out and she was sitting on the doorstep. You had a key, you could have let her in. I did, but I wasn't going to leave her there, was I? Not on her own. I know, I know. It's alright she stays with us, isn't it, Alfie? There's nothing I want more. Good. Then it's decided. It's not that straightforward, Spence. Look, I don't think I've explained the situation to you very well, have I? I mean, this pub, this job, isn't mine. By rights, I actually shouldn't be here. And by the time they figure out who I really am, I'm going to have to disappear pretty rapidly. And I do not have time to round up you, Nan, and a bleeding tea set. They're not going to find out. And even if they don't, this is the Mitchell's pub, Spencer. I mean, Peggy might not even want us all living here. You can talk around, I know you can. That's if you want to. Hello, boys. Oh, right, <laughs> oh, crumbs. This electric kettle. It'll have to go, Alfie. Yeah. There you are, dear. Oh, it's all right. I'll make you a cup of tea. I can't drink it from an electric kettle. The water has to be boiled in a pan on the stove. They've been with me all the time. So they can't have done anything. Mrs Mitchell, this is my man. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. Isn't she a bit short to be a policewoman? Um, Mrs. Mitchell owns the pub. Oh, really? Listen, love, I'd get out of here if I was you. There's old Bill all over the place. Come on, then, let's go and get some there. So, what's going on up there, then? Looks like they're searching the place. Yeah, must be something to do with Phil. Here, Alfie, listen. They've arrested some short woman. Man, I told you, that's Mrs. Mitchell. Oh. Yeah. We're going to get out of here for a little bit. Yeah, 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 good idea. Whoops. What's all this? How should I know? It's in your bag, man. Nice-looking woman. Where'd you get it from? Well, it must have been in the drawer when I was unpacking. You know something? There's definitely something wrong about this place. Um, let's give it a chance, we are. Who knows? We might be here for a little while. Oh! Have you lost something, lovey? No, I hope not. I'm making some tea if you'd like some. Yes, thank you. That'd be lovely. Was it your son they arrested? Right, my eldest. Oh, it's always harder for them at home. You don't know what they've done or if they're coming back. You're always the last to be told, aren't you? Well, they'll release them soon. They have to. I'm sure everything will be just fine. We 
did you get this? It was just lying around, making the place look untidy. I wasn't stealing it, if that's what you're thinking. No. 